Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and today we're going to be starting up a new series playing the original trilogy of Mass Effect. But wait a minute, you might be saying. You just finished a series playing the original trilogy of Mass Effect. Yes, I did, but this is in the brand spanking new legendary edition of Mass Effect, which literally just released today, the day I'm recording this. So, um, I originally hadn't planned on making a series in Legendary Edition because, as I said, I just did an entire series of the original Mass Effect trilogy. I didn't see feel that it was a need, but the further and further I went along, the more I kind of convinced myself that I should uh, do a series in Legendary Edition when it came out, and so I am doing a series in Legendary Edition, and this is the my first playthrough in Legendary Edition, so I will not have any experience with this particular version of these games prior to this. I mean, it's not exactly a blind playthrough. I play through the Mass Effect trilogy who knows how many times at this particular point, but not this exact version. So uh, I'm going to give it a whirl and see how it goes and see what I think. And since I did just finish a Mass Effect series playing as a male shepherd that was an adept and largely renegade, um, I decided to do a completely different type of shepherd. We're going to be playing as a female shepherd. We're going to be playing as a completely different class, which I haven't even really decided on yet. Is um, it's either going to be infiltrator or vanguard? I think infiltrator or vanguard. Two extremely different classes, and I'm not entirely sure yet. I love Infiltrator in Mass Effect 2 and 3, especially in Mass Effect 2, but Vanguard's also pretty fun. Um, so, I'll make the final call as I create my character. And also, we're going to be doing... Oh, just bump my mic. Um, we're going to be doing largely Paragon playthrough, but much like with my Renegade playthrough where I took some very non-standard decisions for a, a, par, uh, a Renegade playthrough, I'm going to be taking some non-standard decisions, trying to play in a very different way, making very different decisions uh, this time around um, than what I did um, previously. And I'm going to have to find uh, some way to rationalize why my shepherd will make the decisions that she will. So, enough preamble. Let's go ahead and uh, get started. Mass Effect. Start. Now, will they have the opening text of Mass Effect of these games... Um, hold on a minute. Just a moment. I think I'm going to need to adjust my settings because I'm not getting any video. Just a moment. Okay, there we go. It's just because there's a bit of a weirdness between the launcher and when it actually launches the actual games. Uh, it actually changes things. It interferes with my recording, but whatever. It's working now. So, let's go ahead and start a new career. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. All right, we're going to be entering a new ID. We're going to be going for a custom female. Please log in to access your profile. Um, we're going to call her Sarah. Next. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. All right, so... 
What am I going to go for as far as pre-service history? I'm going to go with Spacer. Confirm psychological profile. And, um... War Hero. Pretty standard Paragon background setup. Confirm military specialization. Okay. Textures so far are very nice. Um... Pistols and shotguns. Here's the thing. I don't particularly care for a shotgun. Well, I don't know how the mechanics have been changed. Um, I think we're going to go for Infiltrator. Because, again, it probably is one of my favorite classes. It, and it's also one of my preferred play styles. Um, for shooters of pretty much any type, which is kind of stand off and pick people off at range. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do that. Confirm Infiltrator. facial identification. Oh, boy. Um, we're going to go off the default. I'm going to change appearance and see what I can do with whatever changes that they made to the character creator. So... Um, this is probably going to take me an hour, so I'm going to pause and I'll be back once I've um, decided on what our shepherd is going to look like. Okay, I think we're done. So this is going to be the design for our M ship. All right. Profile reconstruction complete. I'll probably hate it in about 15 minutes. But for now, it's fine. Uh, yeah. Accept. Confirm. Identification confirmed. Uh... Can I go for veteran? Auto level up is off. Level scaling legendary mode. In classic mode, the original 1 to 6 level range will be used instead of the new... 1 to 30 level range. XP and talent point progression remains the same, but the number of levels is doubled. Um, I think we'll stay legendary mode. Yeah, let's... Squad power usage. Yeah, have the squad use them all. I can, you know, put subtitles on. Enable tutorials? Ah, uh, probably? Um, I'll start with Veteran, and um, if I don't care for it, I'll switch it down, or up, as required. All right, let's accept. Let's go. Well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. She proved herself during the Blitz, held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. She's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero, and Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. All right. Yeah, in the year 2148, explorers of Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. The decades have followed these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called the greatest discovery in human history. Mass Effect, yes. Turn. 
Solaris Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Might have to adjust volume levels. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. All right. Um... I agree. And they don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Um, I heard. I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. All right. Yeah, I need to make a audio adjustment. So I'm gonna pause and I'll be right back. Okay. Made an adjustment. Hopefully it's fine. Hopefully it didn't make it too quiet. I'll have to see. Alright, um, I actually do have some points to spend. Um, we'll be going for Charm instead of Intimidate, yes. That's what we're going to want to focus on. Always go for that Charm or Intimidate points. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I heard you arguing. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Uh, what do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Uh, an issue with the Turian Spectre? You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Plus, he's a Spectre. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. All right, well, I guess, tell us about the stealth systems. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors, cutting edge technology. 
The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. All right, well, I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. All right. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. All right, let's talk to Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. He doesn't look quite as goofy. Uh, <laughs> in this version. All right, uh, relax, Jenkins. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before. Not one with a Spectre on board. Um... What can you tell us about Eden Prime? You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. All right, well... Later. Captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. We can talk to Chakwas. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Um, uh, I not really Captain's anything else. Waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Okay. Well, let's uh head on over here and talk to Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Mm, I wouldn't know. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Mm, why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Well, that's obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. All right, well, why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. All right, so what are the details? What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Uh, you sound worried. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Uh, what? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. You put my name forward? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. 
I only care that you can do the job. All right. So what's next? Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. All right. Well, I don't know how much we really want to ask around. I guess we'll ask about the beacon. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. I guess we can ask about the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. All right, then. Let's go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. All right, understood. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. All right, then. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. All right, well, Clear. mechanics are still the same. Well, actually, let's, uh... Right, no need to reload, anyway. That's it. Bag him and tag him. Yep, definitely, uh... Much improved coat of paint. That's for sure.
It seems like... The alternative weapons, even the ones I'm not necessarily proficient in. Toxic seals, okay. Are much more effective than they were previously. I mean, before, if you didn't have assault rifle training, it was just hopeless. That seems somewhat usable. Um, Alenko, you can auto-level up. Jenkins, we don't care about you. You're not going to last very long. And, um... Damage and accuracy. Right, pistols, sniper rifles. Marksmen, we want to get to that. Yeah, this doesn't have the cloaking though. Okay, but you know. Oh god. What happened? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Sabotage overheats nearby enemy weapons and burns them for minor damage. Okay. I guess we can do that. We can do that. They're probably going to want me to... I guess I can't do that. I have to actually do this manually. That's fine. That definitely does feel a lot better. Interesting. Rip right through his shields. They're at a chance. All right. Well, we can't help him now. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. All right, so... Yep. Yeah, um... Probably don't need the tutorial stuff. V to use Metagel. That is not what I'm going to want to do. Okay. Uh, let me fix that keybind. Okay. Change the keybinds. Okay. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be um, instinctively trying to reload.
All right, let's get in there. Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was going to make it. Well, that went down easily. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. Oh, that's you right. Want to charge your ma'am? We'll let you go to that crate before you talk to Ashley. All right, what happened here? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. So, what happened to your unit? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Hey, you know what these are? Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Alright, well... Join us. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. All right, I guess we'll ask about Nihilus. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough uh. firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Uh, He's on our Aiden? side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. He was kind of missing his, his weapon there. Um. So what happened before the attack? Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. And the scientists? What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. All right, uh, I guess we'll ask about the beacon. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins, and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. All right, I guess we'll ask about the Geth. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. All right, well, that's all we're going to get. Move out! All right. Uh, yeah. I'm probably going to turn those off. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Our piercing rounds. Now, is the inventory... Nope, this interface is pretty much the same. Alright. Um, we're going to take armor piercing. Actually, no, we'll take any personnel... On the pistol, on the sniper rifle, we'll take the armor piercing rounds. Um, I guess. Oh, yeah, we got scorpion armor. Oh, we'll take that. And any good mods, toxic seals, I guess that's what we'll take because we don't have any other options. Caden? We don't really have anything else. Okay. Yes, I'm aware of how cover works. Um, Caden? 
you're 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 in my line of fire, bro. Yeah, I'm probably gonna change that melee attack button. dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Uh, any survivors? You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. All right. Change of plan, Shepard. Oh? There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. All right, grenade upgrade, sniper rifle, a new sniper rifle, and a new pistol. Uh, is this pistol better? Less accurate, more damage. Yeah, we're, we're going to take that one. And the new sniper rifle, less accurate, but more damage, more heat sink capacity. We'll definitely take it. There we go. And I don't think anybody else is using anything better or worse. So, yeah. Well, we'll go ahead and stop here. Uh, so far, yes, very pretty. Nice texture upgrades. The uh, gunplay just feels a little bit better so far. We'll see how it goes. And, um, yeah. We'll keep on working through it. But we'll stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.